Hi, I'm Chris Haig. I'm the Props Master here at the Art and Theatre Company on the set of John. When we started this process about four months ago um, in the design process, most of the research was done by our director, Matt Decker, and our set designer, Tim McAbee. Um, and Matt actually went to Gettysburg and stayed in some B&Bs and did some uh, hands-on research there, which he brought back, which is really helpful. And then Tim did most of his work in figuring out what the room would look like. Uh, so once they did that, they came back and gave me some information, and I took it and created a list of what we needed to fill out the space. Um, so my research was more about finding what style of furniture, uh, about the time period. It's a contemporary show, but the, the building itself is a Civil War era home. Um, so looking into that sort of stuff about you know what a house like this would look like after hundreds of years and uh, and what kind of furniture would be in it based on the character Murtis, who owns the house. Um, she's been here for maybe 50 years, uh, and she's been a bit of a hoarder uh, of tchotchkes and things. So like, what is she like? What is, what is she bringing to the house? So I was thinking more on those lines. So the tchotchkes um, are um, everywhere on this set, um, per Annie Baker's uh, stage directions. And um, what we did at the beginning of the process was we we made a big call out to whoever wanted to help donate tchotchkes. They could um, you know, contact me and I would pick them up and we would use them on the set. So there's tchotchkes here from many staff members of the Arden. Um, there's um, tchotchkes here from uh, longtime board members, Michael Donato's mother's china's in the, in the uh, shelves over here, our own uh, production manager and our company manager and our general managers all helped pull uh, stuff from their own homes. Uh, my mother and my sister actually donated a lot of the stuff that you see on the set right now. Um, a lot of the Christmas stuff behind me is from my mom's own home. What we couldn't find through donations, we actually just found at thrift stores and flea markets. And we spent a, you know, a good chunk of the budget on uh, filling up the uh, shelves. One of the more challenging pieces to find is the shaker bench that's behind me in the hallway. Tim McAbee, the designer, had wanted it to be a six foot long bench and those are, they're easy to find but they're expensive. So we couldn't actually afford to find one that was uh, that big. Uh, they're usually around about thousand dollars to buy one that's made like that. So what we did is we ended up renting this one and it's only four and a half feet, but we made the compromise and made it work. So the Samantha doll was the very first prop that we got for this show. We, uh, I found Samantha on eBay, our particular Samantha, in June. So I had, I've, we've had Samantha here in the building for <laughs> well over six months. Um, she uh, is such a specific um, item in this show. Annie Baker has written her into the show very specifically that it's you know the original American Girl doll. Um, She's given her almost a, she's almost the fifth character in the show uh, at times. So it was important to Matt to make sure we got the right doll, make sure we got the right outfit. Um, and as far as placement, she needed a, almost a throne. So um, we got her a rocking chair and we have her in a very, you know, special spot on top of the player piano. Um, Maria Chaplin, our lighting designer, hits her with this really sweet special. Um, so when she needs to be front and center, she definitely is. One of the props that I was really pleased to find that uh, I would probably take home with me is the salt and pepper shakers that sit on the tables in Paris. Um, they're these cute little couples, uh, and it's a man and a wife, I'm assuming, but one side of them is really happy, and if you turn them around, the other side of them is really grumpy. And they're just really cute and funny, and actually they're really great for this show. Um, because in our show there's a couple and they're dealing with their relationship. So the salt and pepper shakers, the direction they face in the show, can give you a clue as to what's going on. So the busiest day in the process usually is the day that the actors move on to stage from the rehearsal room. So what that day involves is uh, me and my team of helpers go into the rehearsal room and we take out all the props and take out all the furniture from that room and transfer them to this building and into this room. And we have basically from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. to put everything into this space so that the actors can get on stage and start working this, with the play, spacing the play. Um, so that day is 
you know, nonstop. And then as soon as they get here, we have a meeting, we discuss things, and then I'm here throughout the rest of the evening, you know, checking in, changing things, moving things as needed. Um, and then the next day starts tech. So right from that point on is, is full on busy, busy, busy. This set, and I've heard it from a bunch of people, but it applies to me as well, but this set reminds me a lot of home. Um, this is uh, people saying, this is my grandmother's house. This is my mom's house. Uh, for me, it's very much my house at home, um, simply because so much of it is actually from my house at home um, in Norristown. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those sets that you feel like you could live in. Uh, you step into it and you're in a real place. Uh, Annie Baker is really specific in her stage directions about the set and about the props. Um, I think it's that specificity made our job really easy in a way um, because we knew what we were looking for, difficult in other ways because we didn't want to compromise in any way. We wanted to make sure we got her vision correct. Um, Matt Decker, the, the director, was very, you know, uh, adamant about sticking to the script and sticking to what Annie Baker has written, uh, as was the designer Tim. Um, so it was a challenge, but it was a challenge that um, I'm excited by. You know, this sort of set is um, one of those things you can really sink your teeth into and, uh, you know, work on for months and months and months, and it's a labor of love and uh, it all comes together in the last few days. Um, but those are the best kind of sets. Enjoy the show, enjoy looking at the set. We hope you uh, uh, feel at home here um, and enjoy the mystery of John.